how to heal mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, while still living with an energy vampire. I was not supposed to be successful. Hey there, Casey Ship here, fitness model, hormone expert, and a master energy healer. I help goal-oriented women clear out the reason why nothing has worked and finally step into their purpose and get everything they've ever wanted. For those of you that are brand new, I was very toxic. Let me tell you why. And this isn't to blame anyone. This is not to bring up guilt. When we're sick, we become toxic enablers. Because guess what? If we surround ourselves with toxic people, we look around and go, I'm with a narcissist. That is a problem. But you also have to take full responsibility for healing the part of you that allowed that narcissist to feed off of you. They're not just all to blame. You gave them the straw to drink you dry. You didn't know any better though. This is where like Hot Moms goes in and we teach you why these things happen so you can become narc proof. Can you heal living with a narcissist? Yes. As soon as you start to heal though, you're gonna leave them. So if you're with in a relationship with a narcissist, there's two books you can start reading right now, um, Dodging Energy Vampires and Codependent No More. I thought Skip was an energy vampire, and then I thought I was an energy vampire. I was an energy vampire, and I'll never forget working with someone. I didn't feel really good. You know, I didn't have a lot of energy, and um, I guess I was complaining a lot. I didn't even notice it. I mean, I was a very toxic person. I remember shaming my friends because they would dress a certain way because that's how I was treated, telling people they were wrong because they believed differently than me. You know, just I was very toxic, and I pro I've still got some toxic stuff in me. I mean, come on. Listen, I'm not going to say I don't, but I thought Skip was an energy vampire there for a minute because I'm working on every day becoming a better person because I knew how toxic I was and I had to learn how to not be toxic, you know? Um, and I remember wanting to think that, you know, and blame Skip and blame, you know, it would be easier if you weren't da, 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 and he was doing all this stuff and still drinking and all that. But really I had to heal my, or work on codependency and really work on my self-worth. I had to work on my self-worth. I had to work on my self-worth and self-esteem and learn how to self-validate and heal myself and become a self healer. That's really what changed my whole life. And when we do that, we step into our feminine energy and our powerhouse, we allow our men to heal as well or our partners to heal as well. So um, assuming that's what you mean. Now, uh, if it's a mother, father and you're young, you know, it is kind of hard to leave, but you can leave eventually. But I will tell you that if you're healing your stuff actively, and you're healing your stuff. Uh, I've worked with plenty of women, and they are with true narcissists, people that are are kind of um, morally just, man, they, they leave a trail, and they're not kind, and they, they do things, and they don't take responsibility for it. Um, yeah, these, yeah, 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 like a trauma bond. Uh, they ended up splitting up, and then these women just claim, reclaimed their health and their life, and they're completely different, more positive. They're so much happier. But if they don't heal the thing in themselves that attracted this person, they're going to just attract another one. So can you heal physically, uh, emotionally, everything while living with them? Yeah, yeah, but you're not going to stay around them very long. And I will tell you this, it is an addiction. Uh, and maybe you can understand me when I say this. Who here has been in a relationship, if you don't, if you don't mind? Um, what's up, Lexi? Um, what's up, Lexi, baby? <laughs> Who here has been in a relationship, I know I have, that it was not a good one, but it's so hard to break up. Like when you break up, you find yourself like talking to them again or, or like you, you interact with them again and then you feel worse about yourself, but there's this like yearning to be together. Does anybody have that? Where you like, you want to be with them and you feel almost like you're missing out or you don't want them to have anybody else or you, there's this feeling that makes you like sick and you feel like they're so happy and, and, and all this stuff. And then like, you know, you don't need to be with them, but it's so hard to cut ties. Anybody? Or am I the only weak heifer over here? Okay. Thanks, Deb. <laughs> thanks for making me feel. I'm just kidding. Let's be codependent together. <sighs> now I would say it regardless if y'all felt this way. Um, oh, I love that. I'm reading everybody. Oh, I want, we got nurses all up in the hizzy. Okay. Thanks for taking, th thanks for, uh, following directions. I was like, everybody let me know what they do for work. Nobody on my po my personal page in the Hot Moms free group, y'all are doing it. So come on, come on, pers personal page. Show them what you got. So yeah, I was that way too with my relationship. And that was one of the most toxic ones that I've ever been in. Very. I, that's when I almost committed suicide. Um, they, they actually told me I was crazy. Um, and a lot of times what happens and oh, this is coming in the queen codes. 
is um, I was a frog farmer. I would get with guys and turn them into the worst possible guys, and I would be the worst possible Casey um, with these. What's up, Axel? Nicole, yeah, I felt that way, Christy. High school assistant principal. See, what's up? And a PhD. I just had to throw that in there. Um, heck no. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> You're funny. So um, with the bad relationship thing, I'm glad that I'm not alone with that. And um, I almost committed suicide. I try to take too many Lexapro, right? And I turn these guys into the worst possible guys ever. Kind of, I watched my mom do the same thing. Like she could get a man that's a good man and make him like really bad. No, it's not her. She just fed on them. And what happens is when you get around that person, you become that energy, right? You, you, you become that you're an enabler. It's like, you're as bad as they are. And to come, hold on, Jennifer, surgery, admin clerk, man, we got, I feel safe right now. I feel really safe, really safe right now in this space. I've got principals. I've got admins. I've got PhDs. I've got nurses out the wazoo. I feel really safe. <laughs> this is good. This is good. I feel safe. I love it. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's kind of like a, an addiction. That's an emotional addiction. When you feel those feelings, you can't get away from that person. Um, there's an emotional addiction there. So you have to go beneath that and see it as an, a regular addiction. Like, why am I addicted to alcohol? And then taking away the alcohol and seeing what feelings are left beneath. And so um, just know that if it's hard for you to break ties with this person, there's an emotional addiction. That's how much really trauma and emotional abuse is inside of you that we have to clear out. Um, just tons, tons of, uh, no, just no self-worth. I mean, if you're at that point, there's just no self-worth, none, none whatsoever. So at the end of the day, 100%, you can heal physically, mentally, all this stuff, um, while living with them, but it's not going to be long until you're out. And if you don't get out, then it just means you're you you're now uh, no longer living with a narcissist, and that's not the problem. You're addicted to being treat abused. You're addicted to being abused, and that's what needs help. Now you need intervention, self esteem nine one one. You need self esteem intervention and self worth intervention. That's what you need, and you have to you have to build yourself up so that you can um, see what's not good for you and leave it. It's almost like right now, if, you know. I, I had uh, um, some kind of poop with a virus on it that was way worse than what came down the pipes in 2020. Like, it would legit almost kill you. A guaranteed hospital visit right here. And I said, here you go. You want some? Most of you would say no because you don't want to do all that stuff. So why do you say yeah? Because that this right here is like being with that person that treats you poorly, but you can't see it. And that's why you're just consuming this poop-filled virus, whatever lighter this is right here. That's exactly what happens when you live or you're around toxic people is you don't, you look around, you're like, why am I sick? Why, why don't I have any time? And why, why does this happen and this happen? And I keep, I can't get anywhere. It's usually energy suckers in your life, but why are you allowing them to suck? <laughs> you have to work on your self-worth first and everything else follows. That's kind of what I teach in Hot Moms. Like the reason why you can't stay on a diet and the reason why you, 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 you're not moving forward and confidently and know how you get there every time and there's a constant yo-yo is because of low self-worth. And then I teach on, you know, we, there's another aspect where we go into relationships. You know, some people come to me just for relationships, low key. And, um, and of course, they also have a little bit of extra weight and stuff like that. But the relationship part, like we do deep stuff, man. We do deep, deep stuff. And we go through and we work on the codependency and the shame and the guilt. But ultimately, it comes down to self-worth. Self-worth. Because who are we when we don't, when we can say no and we don't bend over backwards and make sure everybody else is this and do this and do that and do take care of everybody else's problems? Like, who are we? See, a lot of us are addicted to feeling needed. You know, Lexi said, like. Light energy worker, lymphatic drainage streamer, creator. I love it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, getting the kids to bed, Heather said, awesome. Um, so, that's, yeah, so absolutely you can heal. So you can heal even if you're around these people. Um, now, it would be very, you can't stay there long, though. 
because if you stay there long, now it's on you. Now it's on you big time because now you're addicted to being, you're addicted and now you're choosing to stay in it because of the addiction. And now you're toxic to everybody you come in contact with because you're just so, you're so drained. You're so low. You're so low. You're not by, you, you can only, you, you're getting, you're getting what you feel like you deserve, right? So you're going to attract everything in your life that, that reflects back crap. So anybody got any questions? That's all I want to say about that because that's exactly from my point of view. That's, that's, and what I see in hot moms over the past 10 years of working with women on this, this very issue right here. It's kind of true. And personal experience being married 16 years, coming from a family with all of this in there. <clears throat> this was very true. I thought Skip was the vampire. Turns out <clears throat> I was very toxic. Very toxic. I uh, was an enabler <clears throat> and I didn't know my worth. And I was just doing what I was programmed for. So I had to go in, which I think I'm going to do like a master class called the Queen Code or something based on a book that I read and, and put it to use and kind of teaching on what we've done over the years. We go over toxic relationships and all that stuff because it affected my health 100%. I mean, think about it. Somebody just wears you out when you talk to them. They always got some. Oh, they're like, dude, that's time for you and God. That's between you and God in the journal. You know? You know what I'm saying? Just always something. They want to talk. They want to talk about everybody. They want to call and gossip. Did you see what she's had on? She said she did this. She did that. Can you believe this? You know? There's all kind of energy vampires, but they really do affect your health. And, and Christy Northrup has the best book ever for that, the Dodging Energy Vampires. It's a great book. It's a great book for those of you that are kind of new to all this stuff. But a dead giveaway is um, adrenal fatigue, uh, thyroid issues, um, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia. Um, and then a lot of people are going to get very triggered by most of the things I said because you know why? Take one guess. They're not willing to take responsibility. <laughs> it's not their fault, honey. I don't know their story. Okay? So if you are willing to take responsibility and be like, all right, I'll work on myself. Everything's going to shift and change. Don't worry about it, every anybody else. Just do this for you. Everything else will catch up. Okay? Awesome. <clears throat> I don't see any questions. You're quiet tonight. You're quiet. I'm tired right now anyway. Um, but I wanted to come on because I didn't come on this morning. And I think I'm, I'm pretty sure, I don't think I can do 11.11 tomorrow, but I think I could do 11.33 because we got to keep it them numbers. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I maybe could do 11.33. I don't know. Got a massage. I don't know if I'll be out. So what we've got going on <clears throat> is um, a few things. I would say just depending on what you feel like you need, whether it's weight that you want to break through hormones, um, understanding yourself better, soul searching, whatever it is, but ultimately the portal is going to be getting healthy. Okay. So if you want to know more, just comment or DM us. Okay. Just DM us and say, I um, want to know more about what Casey was talking about in the, um, energy vampire video or something like that. Just say, I want to know more. Our team, they'll reach out and see what's up with you and get you something. Cause we have a ton of free resources. <clears throat> You're welcome. Oh, good. Michelle said you covered it. Thank you. I will put myself first from now on. Yes, yeah, start on those books, Michelle. Also, Elevate. Um, if you're not in Hot Moms or you're not wanting to do Hot Moms because we do go fast, um, Elevate's great. Elevate's 10 bucks or one ninety seven lifetime. CaseyShip.com forward slash Elevate. <clears throat> we go over some of this stuff there. A lot of people's lives change because of Elevate. It's really cool. So Elevate because you're going to need the support. Um, and then also start on those books. And two, something for self-worth, you know, just make sure you've got it in your ear all the time. Make sure you're, you're getting fed um, emotionally, right? She's in Elevate and she's loving it. Perfect. Yeah, make sure that you are getting um, emotionally fed every day because a lot of us just grew up being emotionally neglected because we had to be strong, okay? Um, so like right now, just mothering ourselves. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, just really just mothering ourselves. And if we don't know how, which a lot of us don't, um, self-love is way more than just posting a, a sweet meme and hashtag self-love and with a smile. It is um, how we talk to ourselves, but a lot of times we don't even realize that cars our emotional intelligence is so low. So start with something like um, Elevate and then a book like You Are 
you are a badass, dodging energy vampires, stuff like that, okay? And if you want to know more, just pop in our DMs and we'll help you out. All right, big deep breaths and I'll see you tomorrow. This is it. I've got a free training, caseyship.com forward slash register. Be sure to grab that and then join my free Facebook group and just reach out. Struggle is not required. So hit me up, caseyship.com forward slash register. Talk to you soon.